Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to log in into a website using the Python request library. So you must have already used the request library in Python for scraping the content from any given web page. So you are just given a URL and you um, use the request library to fetch the content from that web page, right? So that is where you use the request library, but there is no authentication involved. But what if we are able to create a session using the request library and then able to log in into that particular website and then get the content of any given web page? In that way, we will be able to scrape much more useful information from any website, right? So that is what we are going to learn in this video. We are going to go through a step-by-step -step procedure for doing that. And without any delay, let's get started. So here uh, I have a website called CodeChef.com. So it's a competitive programming website and our, um, our goal in this video will be to um, log in into this website using some code which is by using the request library in Python so how to do that you, you already know that it's very simple that you just press the login button and you just um, log in into any given website right but how does that happen actually behind the scenes behind the scenes there is nothing but a post request involved a an HTTP post request is used in which you pass some form data okay and that data is being used to authenticate if the user is legit or not right so this is how it's done and all we need to do is just trap that request specifications like what is the data going into that request which URL is being hit for that and like that so that is what we need to do so for that we are going to inspect this um, you can say this web page so let's say um, so I will open my element ins uh, inspector thing here right and you have to select the network so this network thing will show me all the requests which are going through this web page okay and now um, I'm just gonna press the login button let's see what happens okay so look at that some requests are being sent and then finally I have logged in and a lot of things have appeared right um, if I try to find which requests were made um, I think this request was made so look at that this is a post request and the status code was 302 so this gives us a hint that yeah this request is being used for logging in any user on this website so this is the request URL for that and this is the request method this is the status code and if we just scroll down a bit we will get to know more we will see that what were the request headers and what was the form data oops so you just need to be careful that your password might not be encrypted when you try to see it here okay so mine is being shown here so now you have the form data which is being actually used by the website for authenticating an user so you got the name you got the password you got something called a form build ID we will later see that where I can find this particular thing then there is a form ID which just uh, which contains a value new login form so and we have OP which I think that means operation which is login so these are the fields that this website uses for authenticating the user so all we need to do is to create a session using the request library and then first of all make a get request to the codechef.com web page and then um, we will be sending a post request to this particular URL with this given form data and then we'll be able to log in um, we might have logged in by that stage and then we'll be able to um, browse the complete website by hitting any URL okay so that is the thing that we are going to do so just um, let's start typing something um, let me just import the request library first of all okay so I have imported the request library and now I have to create a session because the login thing works with a session because you have to um, you have to surf uh, a series of web pages while you are um, browsing through a website so in that case um, what you need is a session so that the login information can be maintained throughout those web pages so for doing that we are gonna create a session so with requests dot session as s let me call it s so I have just created a request session context here and now in that context I am gonna first of all specify the main URL which I will be opening which is going to be codechef.com okay so this is the codechef.com so I will just copy this so URL is codechef.com 
and after that what I have to do is I have to make a request to this web page let's see what happens so now my request session object is s so I will use that for making the get request so it's s dot get URL okay and then now let me just print the content that I will get so let me just run it hmm so look at that I get 403 forbidden why this might be happening um, actually this must be happening because I am not providing any headers so the request headers are used by many websites to identify that uh, to identify if the request is being made through the browser or by any bot in our case it's a bot so it has detected that yeah it's a bot so it's 403 forbidden but how we can uh, but how can we um, bypass this so for bypassing there is a very simple solution you have to just use this user agent um, user agent um, header so all you have to do is just specify um, a headers dictionary in which we will be having this um, my user agent like this and then this is its value so this is a browser property and we will be using this and we'll be just passing this headers thing to our request to see if it is able to differentiate between us and a browser or not so headers is what I'm gonna pass now headers equal to headers so now let's run it now look at that we are able to bypass that uh, because we have got a lot of HTML content and I think now we can um, just move to the next part which is making a post request to the um, login endpoint right so now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a post request right but before that I need to find um, what is the logic behind this form build ID because I know the name I know uh, I know the password but I do not know this particular value and I feel that this might be important so I'm just gonna search for for build ID in this particular HTML code and look at that I got that so there is a form build ID and uh, it's an input type it's an input tag which contains the name form build ID and its value is this so this is what I need to um, trace from this um, particular content that I get when I make a get request right so for doing that I'm gonna use the beautiful soup library so from bs4 import beautiful soup okay okay so I just made a mistake here from bs4 import beautiful soup and now what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a soup object out of this uh, um, uh, HTML content so that is done by beautiful soup r dot content and also um, I'll be specifying the HTML parser that I'm gonna need here and then um, yeah so that will make my soup object so if you are not familiar with um, the web scraping thing or with the beautiful sub library I have provided some article links below in the description of this video you can check them out to know more about it okay so now moving on uh, what I'm gonna do now is try to find the build form um, form build ID right so form build ID is uh, present in some uh, is present as in an input tag so it's input the tag name I have to find that particular tag which has a special attribute which is that the name of that particular um, tag is form build ID okay so this will provide me um, that particular HTML element and now in that I just need its value so that is what I have done okay so let's just take a look at back again at that thing look at that I found the input tag and then and how did I find that by specifying that the name of that HTML element should be form build ID and then I found its value because that is all I need right so this is how you do it so this is my um, form build ID but now let me create the complete um, data object which I'm gonna send them so I'm just specifying it as login data is equal to um, let me copy it okay so now here is the login data the username then a comma the password that I will change 
and then there is a form build ID which is um, you can say dynamic so I will be specifying that later in the session itself then there is form ID which is new login form I hope that is not gonna change and then there is this operation OP which is login here so that's it that's a partial login data okay so I made some mistake here a comma was missing and now um, I will just specify that in my login data the form build ID is equal to this value okay so this is how I'll be able to specify my complete login data and now we are good to make a post request for um, for logging into the website so we are just gonna follow the same URL again and the data is going to be my um, login data and also I'm just gonna pass the same headers again in case they might need that right and finally I would like to print the content to see if I have already um, to see if I have um, logged in successfully or not okay so this is it now let me just try it now let's see what is the output okay so it will take a bit of time and I feel that we have done it let me just check by searching for my username in this particular thing yeah so look at that um, there's a link for the user page which is slash user slash nickel casing 97 so yeah so this is the page which is being shown right here hello nickel casing 97 right so yeah we have found it hello yeah so this is the thing so um, this is how we have logged in to this particular website and now we can continue this session by um, specifying any other get request to any other um, page on this website and get the data from that as well right so this is how you maintain a session on any website using the requests library and in this video we also learned that how we can log in into any website by tracking down its um, by tracking down um, or by you can say by inspecting its network and then finding the particular request which is leading to the authentication right so this is how you do it um, I hope it was clear if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching